Friends, I'm looking forward to our Advent season. On our Sundays, we will be looking at T.S. Eliot's poem, The Journey of the Magi. And we'll take that over the course of four Sundays and look at each kind of like four stanzas of the poem and use scripture as well to think about the Magi traveling to welcome Jesus, to welcome the Christ. And uh, depending on when you think that they arrived, uh, it took four months for them to get there. So if we think that they arrived fairly soon after he was born, they've been traveling already for three months. So T.S. Eliot's poem is a wonderful entry into helping us reflect on that. And even if you're not sure that you've ever uh, read much poetry or read T.S. Eliot, uh, I invite you to be a part of that journey. And by looking at this uh, fairly short poem uh, each week, we'll really get to see what it brings out to help us to understand uh, that journey, the difficulty of the journey of the Magi, the things that they had to leave behind and the ridicule and challenges they faced along the way, the surprising plainness of finding the baby born in Bethlehem, and the upside-down world-turning of spiritual transformation now that they have met the Christ. So we'll see all of that in the journey of the Magi, which sounds a lot like the journey of our faith. So it's an Advent journey for all of us. With this email, uh, you've got links. Uh, you can listen to the poem, T.S. Eliot reading the, his own poem, uh, I think back in the 30s on the radio. There's also a really interesting composition uh, by Bruce Coburn, Roseanne Cash, and Lou Reed, uh, kind of taking We Three Kings, that melody, a little bit, and then Lou Reed reads the poem, um, and uh, it's kind of a haunting uh, kind of way of approaching it. But those would be great entry points as we uh, gather on these Sundays to take a look at this poem, The Journey of the Magi, and The Journey of Our Faith. I welcome you to, to be a part of all of it. Thanks.